All right, hey girls and guys, Tim Sharon here, and this is three reasons why you must be playing free gigs. So before I get started, make sure you subscribe before you start hating on this whole video because I know that there's gonna be people that are uh, freaking out, oh my God, oh my God, it's gonna change the market in my hometown and um, musicians are gonna be getting paid less all over the world because one random person is playing free gigs. Well, make sure you subscribe and comment on here and uh, we'll get right into it. So this is three reasons why musicians must, must play free gigs. Here's the deal. You are a business. If you're in the music business and you want to get paid to play music, you have your own little tiny music business. and. If you know anything about business, you have to invest in that business to get it growing and to get it started. So reason number one, at the beginning, nobody's going to want to pay you. So nobody pays you to practice your guitar and or practice vocals. So you, uh, how can you go out when you're doing your very first gigs and say, well, I need to be getting paid, you know, let's say starter gigs, right? bar gigs, which bars and restaurants, I, I think they are the by far the best, greatest, um, I'm shedding all over myself, the greatest for my uh, wristbands. So they're, they are the greatest um, training ground, I think, for, at least in my experience, for, um, you know, going from starting out, doing open mic nights, and then going and playing at bars and restaurants. Um, and you can get paid, so I'll just go with the example for solo, acoustic, singer, songwriter, playing covers on a bar stool. You know, you get paid $150 to $250 a night. But if you don't have any gigs on your, on your resume and you are just coming from uh, either, you know, school where you're, you're, learning how to, you're learning how to play music or you're just coming from your bedroom and, and taking lessons and everything, um, go out and do a, a few free shows and then you can build your, you know, your videos and your, and your photos and your content, put them on your website, put them on social media. So that's a great way to get rolling. Free is, doing things for free is an amazing tool. Like it, it, you should use it as a weapon in your arsenal to go and get started with things so that, you know, you, plus you, you need to go improve yourself. You know, if you're just starting out, if you just want to, want to get into the, like, the bars and the, and the restaurants and things like that, go do say, you know, contact your local bar that you want to play at and say, Hey, I'll come in and I'll do a free one hour set on a Wednesday. And if you like it, then my rate is $150 a gig for a three hour gig. Boom. There you go. That's how to do it. Um, it's an investment in yourself. Okay, number two. Um, like I said, you need to prove yourself. I mean, if you're a bass player and you want to get gigs backing someone up or backing up a bunch of bands or in a bunch of different cover bands or whatever it is, you need to prove yourself somehow. Um, so if, if you're not booked, you know, as much as you want to be, then you know, to go and get an ongoing gig that's gonna pay you over and over, you know, say so you wanna play every Friday and Saturday uh, with a band, you know, approach a band and say, hey, I'll come in and I'll play a, f a gig for free or I'll sit in for free and show you guys how, how good I am. And if you're that good, then you'll get the gig and on you go, you're getting paid from then on forward. So proving yourself is a big thing. Um, now the second one is of course, to make a big advance in your, in your career, you know, um, a lot of things, you know, doing the national anthem for free, uh, opening for people for free, opening for, you know, a, maybe a big regional band for free is a great way to go from smaller stages to bigger stages. 
And then of course you get the content, you get the video, you get the photos, you put it on your website, you put it on social media, and then you have more social proof. Um, I have done a million free shows in my life. At the beginning I did free stuff. Okay, I moved to Nashville. I was semi-homeless. I was, I had lost all my money. Um, I was living in a, in a trailer behind, thank you Cowboy John. Um, I was living in a trailer uh, behind his house in East, in East Nashville, this, um, this little tiny house. And we had no bathroom and no shower through the winter. So if you know Nashville, East Nashville, Shelby Park, I, me and Smidge, we used to have to walk up the hill, Shelby Park, to go to the bathroom in the porta potties. Okay? Follow me here. And I had just moved to Nashville. I didn't know anybody. So I did a bunch of free gigs to get my name out there. I played at the Star Cafe and all they paid me was dinner. And they, and Smidge, which was nice of them. Um, and then I put a tip jar out. And I did tons of those gigs. I did tons and then I, I graduated to like $25 gigs. Three hours, 25 bucks, that's it. Um, I remember I went to uh, south of Na between Nashville and Franklin and I hustled so hard to get I can't remember the name of the place but I got a gig for 45 bucks for three hours I had to bring my own sound system the whole thing so um, I'm not just telling you to go out and do free stuff I've, I've done it I have opened for people for as my career advanced on huge stages for thousands of people at the beginning, I did it for free. A lot of the opening acts get paid next to nothing. A lot of the opening um, spots that I've done with my band, I've lost money. I had to pay the, pay the band because I hire, you know, I hire people, and I pay the band, and the opening spot pays me less than I'm paying the band. It's an investment. These are all ways to invest. I mean, of course, you know, if you've been playing bars and restaurants for 10 years and then a bar is like, hey, do you want to come and would you play for free on a Saturday night? Of course, you tell them, hell no. You know, you're not going to come over to my house and serve dinner for me and my friends and family for free uh, so you can get exposure. But these things are extremely important and free can be the greatest thing that you can do. Uh, the greatest weapon in your arsenal. I mean, it, it has been for me. So as you go in your career and you take steps and you get to be doing bigger and better things, then you decide whether or not, I mean, it's worth investing in doing a free show. So number three, I'm gonna take it a step further. Should you pay to play? And the answer is yes. I know, I'm blowing people's minds right now. Pay to play, oh my God, Tim, you're absolutely insane. You have no idea what you're talking about. Here we go. I have paid to play at, I don't know if you guys have heard of these things, but showcases. They're an amazing way to basically take your act from making, I don't know, I'll just throw numbers out there, playing at bars and making six or 700 bucks a night to say, taking the same act, <clears throat> playing at festivals or city events or fairs and making $3,000 a night. How do you do that? Well, you invest in yourself and you pay to perform at showcases. There are showcases for everything. Um, I'll tell you from my personal experience, I have paid a lot of money to play at festival um, conferences. So basically, they have conferences. All of these um, people that run festivals and fairs, they all go to the, these certain conferences and you pay to perform for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Um, I just did a, a free one. Oh, this is, I'm glad I thought of this. I just did a free one last week where I did a solo acoustic. They approached me. It was a, a, a Miami festivals and a, um, 
festivals, events and festivals uh, association, Greater Miami. And so they were like, hey, will you come and play for free? And I went and played for free. It was an afternoon out of my, out of my life. I played like eight minutes solo acoustic, met a, a bunch of amazing people, um, production companies, festivals, fairs, um, the really, really great, great, really cool people that now I've become friends with. And that's the, the best way to network is to go and do showcases in front of the people that are going to hire you. It's that simple. And most of the time, this one, I didn't have to pay, but most of the time you have to pay. But if you wanna go from here to here, you have to invest in yourself. So yeah, Tim Sharon, I'm telling you to go and pay to play. Now, it's a totally different scenario if it's a club and they want you to sell tickets and all that stuff. I mean, I know LA is notorious for it. Um, it's been happening a little bit in Nashville where not, I don't know if they're, they're I don't know if they're requiring people to pay uh, to, to make, to, to cover selling a certain amount of tickets, but use your judgment, you know? Um, these conferences, there are conferences, NACA and APCA, that are all college buyers. So they're gonna book you in to colleges and they pay really well, they pay for travel, they pay for hotels, they pay for food, everything. Um, but the only way to get in front of these people is to pay for a slot to showcase. So those are my three reasons that you absolutely must be playing free gigs. And of course, as you go, as you get more and more success, then you just use your best judgment as to what constitutes a free gig that is uh, benefiting only the venue or wherever you're playing, which of course you shouldn't do, or doing a free gig that is going, that is going to be an investment in yourself and your act and forget exposure. Um, it's going to elevate you to the next step. As long as you leverage it the right way, use your best judgment. So um, do me a favor, leave me a comment. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever done a free gig and did it help or hurt your career. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.